guys welcome back to my channel this is lindy aka paleo barbie if you are new here and this is going to be a grocery haul um, before we get started could you hit the like button and do all the youtube -y things subscribe hit the bell all the all the youtube -y things to help my channel out i'd really appreciate it so first thing we're going to do in this um grocery haul is i just got out of walmart i got a couple of things small things because i don't need a lot from walmart um but i wanted to show you what i got um I was really excited about this because they had this huge size of the G Hughes ketchup. I've never seen this size before, so um, I was kind of excited. It's uh, how many ounces? 26.5 ounces because those little ones, we, we run out of them pretty fast with kids around and whatnot, husband. Um, and then we had to restock on our favorite chicken sauce, the Cluckin', famous Cluckin' chicken, which is just like Chick-fil-A sauce except sugar-free. Um, I was out of the regular Danos, so I picked up some of that. And then I got some French dressing of the G Hughes. So that is my Walmart haul. Um, and then the next thing is going to be Aldi and Sam's. So let's head home. All right, guys, I'm back from Aldi. So let me show you what I got. All right, so this was about $200 haul. Um, I got some chicken thighs with skin on. Got some of this... Uh, marinating steaks for brown steaks, whatever you want to call them, for uh, fajita night. Uh, sheet pan fajitas is what I usually do. Some ground beef. They didn't have any of the grass fed beef, it was completely sold out, so I just got two of these. Um, some pork chops, some flounder, got a couple uh, ground turkeys. They had steakums this time, so I grabbed one of those. I got these Canadian bacon ham slices uh, to do like. Uh, some meal prep with to use to make like egg bites uh, and put this down in the bottom of the muffin pan so i'm gonna use those for that some bacon i got a whole chicken which i about choked about how much i had to pay for it um this is the organic one free range all that jazz it's a huge chicken but they didn't even have any non-organic ones so there wasn't even a choice so i just went ahead and grabbed one of those i've um, got some of the black tiger shrimp because i haven't had the red argentine shrimp so i've been getting these these are really good got one of these shrimp rings sour cream and some cottage cheese some egg whites some of the guacamole singles um, some pepper jack and colby jack sliced cheese a couple of different um, shredded cheeses and then two blocks of regular cheddar just to shred on my own some deli um, salami and all that mix for like charcuterie butter because i always get butter whether i need it or not parmesan cheese baby carrots for easter some berries onions some rolls for easter uh, some mushrooms. I got the, these two packs of green beans for Easter. Some cucumbers. Red potatoes for Easter, which I won't be eating, but everybody else will. Um, some bars for my husband. He likes those kind of bars. They're not the best ingredients um, if you are strict keto, but they're um, low carb. So if you're low carb and you don't care about ingredients, then these are okay. Um, two packs of the fake, or two cans of the fake Rotel. They had the Chosen Foods avocado oil. I was shocked, so I went ahead and picked up one, even though I'm not out of avocado oil, because when you see something like that at Aldi, um, it's not always gonna be there, so I wanted to make sure I picked it up. Um, some of this minced garlic, because I've been lazy. <laughs> some of the zero sugar smoked sausages. Two of these packs of Brussels for Easter as well. A everything uh, chopped salad kit some pepitas and then I got this coffee to try I think I've got this one before I'm not sure I, I know I've gotten the one with the turtle on it um, but these are a good price and they're uh, fair trade certified and they're they taste really good so and that is everything I got at Aldi this time you guys all right so this is what I got from Sprouts this time $105 um, I got chocolate collagen and unflavored collagen because I am out of my first form and it's going to go on my next order but um, I needed some because I need to hold me over. Got some mashed cauliflower. I got super creamer this time instead of the nut pods because I wanted to this has a gram of protein in it per serving and I thought you know why not add more protein in if you can. Um, two frozen or cauliflower florets. 
some egg life wraps. I got the Carbonat tortillas. It's the first time I've seen them there, so I'm going to try these because I really like the bread, so we'll see how these are. And then some smoked oysters, the Carbonat gluten-free bread, good culture cottage cheese, and some 0% Baje. And that is my haul from Sprouts. All right, so this is our Sam's haul. Let's go over what we got this time. We've got some of the um, grape tomatoes. We got three things of LaCroix, three packs, some pork rinds. I love their pork rinds because they have the big pieces and they're not, the Aldi ones usually do, but lately they've had tiny, tiny little pieces. So I went ahead and got some of these because these are best for dipping. I got some extreme wellness wraps for my husband. We got some more of the uncured black forest ham, a rotisserie chicken for dinner, some string cheese, chef chamois, some spinach, and then we got a pack of steaks, and then that big piece of salmon because it was on sale for five bucks off um, for Easter. So I'm going to be probably making that on Easter along with a roast, um, a uh, prime rib or whatever I have roast that I got a couple months ago from Aldi on sale. But this is our Sam's haul. It was about $106. Hey guys, thanks for watching this grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please hit the like button and subscribe and do all the YouTube things if you are enjoying these videos and want to see more. I'll see you guys in the next video.